So I have a trust now, which is uh, this kind of say. This is a trust. So I have here a roller. I'll give you only one example problem. And I have here a hinge. This is a hinge. And uh, now you see how many joints are there? One, two, three, four, five joints. So two into five minus three, that's equal to 10 minus three, seven members. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven members. So it is perfect. Perfect is statically determined trust. <coughs> so here I have a load of 10 kilo newton at this joint. If I ask you to analyze this truss now, uh, by observation you can identify if there are any zero force members. That's very important. <coughs> Correct. So I have also have an additional members here. Two members, but there is no load there. So if I have an additional two members, one joint. So uh, see now it is two into six minus three. That's uh, twelve minus three. Um, nine so i have nine members now two members added one joint so i have like this we can develop <coughs> so now uh, when i ask you to analyze this you can just by observation uh, uh, put this is zero force member this is zero force member because this is a joint with only two members and there is no load so two members only are there and for equilibrium of this joint both should be zero force member that's the idea similarly this is a joint that there are two members these both should be under uh, zero force member. So these zero force members are existing for the stability of the structure. Also to accommodate load loading later on. So I can put a load now, load Q here. Load Q, say from 15 kilo newton. So when I put this load here, what would happen? This is not going to be zero force member. This is only going to be zero force member because this is joined with three members and two are collinear. The one which is not collinear becomes zero force member. So like this, so you should uh, be able to identify zero force members, right? So in absence of 15 kilo Newton, both were zero force member, but now it is changed. Say for example, now I have a load here in this horizontal direction, say some 20 kilo Newton load. Then what would happen? This is not zero force member. So this is only zero force member and this become an active member. So initially I had four zero force member were now reduced by two zero force member because of introduction of Q load of 15 kilo Newton and another load of 20 kilo Newton to the left, right? So this zero force uh, will again disappear if I have here a load which is acting also vertically down. This would uh, become uh, non-zero force member, okay. that's all. So this is how you can identify. So any given trust, you can identify what are, uh, identify the zero force members. <coughs>